What's up, everybody? This is Kyle Van Noy with another episode of Elite Eats. We're here at Woods Hill Pier 4 down at the seaport. Amazing food. Before I introduce my special guest, I need you to like, subscribe, and comment right up here. Best dressed big man in the league, Devon Godchow. Let's go. What's up, my guy? All right. Oh, wow. Excellent penetration on the interior by Devon Godchow. Let's get it. We're going in. What's up, everybody? We finally made it inside. We're here with Chef Charlie. He's the man. He's running three restaurants, so he's a busy man. My background is I was born and raised in Foxborough, the former home of the Patriots. I started cooking when I went to Northeastern University in Boston, and I studied journalism, actually, but I just started cooking. I love the adrenaline and yeah, the fast-paced nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot more fun in the kitchen, getting yeah. burnt, you know, yelling, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> And uh, that, was, that, was, that was for me. In the seaport, there's not a lot of family-owned businesses out here. There's not a lot of kitchens that are chef-driven. There's just not that kind of story being told yeah. in this area. And so we just have something different to say, I think, That's and we're awesome. saying it in a different way. And, yeah. uh, and people, I think, relate to that. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it. We're excited to get appreciate this food. Yeah. Glad to have you guys here. Thank you. Thank Looking you. forward to feeding you. Yeah, let's get it. All right. Yeah. All right. One of our signature items is a, a lobster popover, Anthony's Pier 4, where this restaurant's located. Used to be really famous for the popover service that we do, so it's kind of paying homage to that. It's a lobster roll, but it's in uh, a popover instead. Next to that, it's a citrus-cured uh, Faroe Island salmon. This is some okay. Calvin Noy stuff right here. Yeah. <laughs> and we slice it, and then you have puffed skin, like a chicharron made from the skin from the salmon some shaved matsutake mushrooms, apple marinated in white soy, radish, and a celery root aioli. I'm excited. All right. All right, let's try it. Oh, oh, drop my tip. So when did you start playing ball then? When I was eight, eight years old. Funny story, I had a, uh, a police officer in the neighborhood came, got me and my brother, and wanted us to play ball. Mom didn't have the money to afford it. And ever since then, like, he paid for us to play football that first year and took off from there. Right, and the rest is history. I mean, it was tackle right off the bat. Yeah, nah. hey, yeah. <laughs> no flags, just straight tackle, man. All right, so guys, we got uh, two dishes that have been on the menu since we opened. Um, this is our wood grilled broccoli with uh, so it's chard on the outside with a broccoli leaf pesto on the bottom. And then you have uh, smoked garlic and cheddar aioli and fried leeks on top. And then over here, we confit lamb ribs and then deep prime. We toss it in an Urfa chili glaze and the crispy bits. So it's like sesame seeds, puff wild rice, fried garlic, fried shallots, uh, and then just some torn herbs on top of that. Those might have been the best lamb I've ever had, to be honest. It is amazing. We have bucatini alla matriciana, which is a really traditional Italian dish. The reason I serve it here is because we raise our own pigs at our farm in Bath, New Hampshire and I run my own dry aging program to try to use everything. So we, we actually made that guanciale from pigs that we raised at the farm. There's a short rib dish here. We braise the short ribs and then we char them on the grill and then pick them up in the jus we make from the braise. Parsnip puree in the bottom and then a celery salad, some charred cipollini onions and a cipollini broth on the plate. All right, Enjoy. let me try this organic pasta and kill it. Like his flavors and all his stuff. The broccoli like, flavor was pretty Yeah, solid. the broccoli was really good. That salmon flavor he had was really good. The pasta solid. This is the best part. Our guest gets to show his personality and fans get to ask questions. It's our Q&A portion. The first question, Devon, favorite NFL moment so far? <laughs> this might be a little bit sweet, but uh, <laughs> the Miami Miracle. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, for you, not for me. <laughs> Michael Jackson or Prince? Oh, man. I got to go with MJ. MJ, OK. Yeah, I got to go with MJ. All right. The this thriller. Yeah, I, OK. Yeah. You going to do the dance? No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Biggest motivation in your life? My son. OK. That's all I need. Six yeah. years old. Uh, that's my why, so. Favorite game day meal? Breakfast. I love an omelet. Uh, I always get, I can have breakfast any time of the day, whether it's a night game, four o'clock game, one o'clock game, it don't matter. How has he adjusted to the cold weather after coming from Miami? Uh, I mean, it's uh, still getting there, right? Still getting there, but I always wanted to wear coats. So I mean, I, I've been, I think it's going pretty good. You know, I got all my coats down here, so I think it's going pretty well. What was your favorite NFL team growing up? Pittsburgh Steelers. Really? Yeah. How come? I was always a, a tough, nasty, you know, I was always like a tough-nosed defense. And with Bill Coward, you know, watching okay. the Pittsburgh Steelers, 
had a chance to meet Joe Green at the uh, NFL Honors. Mean and, Joe uh, Green. Mean Joe Green had a chance to meet him, got a signed autograph by him, actually. That's dope. So I had a chance to meet him, so that was pretty cool. We have Charlie, we just wanted to say thank you to you. And I actually, before you leave, I wanted to offer you uh, two tickets to our next home game. Hell yeah. So I just yeah. want as a thank right, you awesome. for yeah. letting us have Thank you for that. That's, that's so, great. Thank you. Appreciate you having thank us you. come on. Thank you. Before we end the show, you got to like, subscribe, and comment on why you and a friend should come to the next home game. Two tickets and two signed jerseys, one from him, one from me. That's a wrap. Appreciate you. Love you. Mwah, mwah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it coming. Yeah, thanks thank for you. Me.